Today on Dead Dodge Garage, dart stuff. Dr. Tom is cleaning this hunk of scrap metal to put in that green thing in there. This one does all the forwarding you'd ever want, but it does not do the backwarding. Also, it leaks. Don't worry, the new one will leak too. Anywho, step one, uh, that thing. And then that, get all the juices out, and then, um, you know, remove it. Mmm, magic hydraulic juices. Pro level tip, drain your transmissions and engines before you remove them. Your garage floor will thank you later. Just so we're all on the same page. There really are no extra pieces in your transmission. Uh, maybe there are, but th that one's not one of them. E cake. There are various techniques for uh, turning the engine to get the torque converter bolts out. One would be, you know, spinning the balancer bolt, which is great, except, well, slant sixes don't have that feature. So I just use my handy 916 wrench that takes the bolts out, turn the engine so I can reach the next one, and then loosen that. Works pretty well, usually. Hey, drain your torque converter too, you know, if you have that luxury. Also, this looks um, frightening, but that's fine. We're back at earth level because it's a slant six and there's some stuff you have to do from up here. Notably the starter, which is really easy actually. Today I learned that if you just leave parts going in the wash tank, they'll clean themselves. Neat. Yeah. It's time for this. Magic. Oh yes, and we're committing a cardinal sin by reusing the original torque converter. What's the worst that could happen? And just like that, the new one's in there. That was way too easy. Look at that thing. It's beautiful. I got distracted by tacos and that. Anyway, well, that wasn't so bad. The shift linkage even magically lined right up. How about that? Now, I personally did burnouts with this transmission and I'm pretty sure it's fine. Sure doesn't look very fine in here, does it? Yeah, pay attention to that, that might be important. Oh, also all this? This is why you don't leave your transmission sitting in uh, grimy shops for six years with uh, no plug in the dipstick hole. And why you service an unknown transmission. It's not just good, it's good enough. Well, I think this is how you do this. That's looking way too nice. And in case you came here looking for an actual guide how to uh, replace one of these, what you do is you take it out and then you put it back in. That's it. Oh, that could be a problem. Fun story, got it all done, filled it with fluid. It, it leaks, that's fine, don't worry about that. It's a shift shaft, that's really normal. Anyway. Um, started up, made horrible noises. I was pretty sure it was the starter, so I went all ham trying to science that out. I even broke out the file and shim washers. Then I realized, it's this. It's always this. I usually leave these thingies out, but, um, well, we're going for a little higher quality than that. There is ample evidence this was a problem before. Anyway, I've been it back. Hopefully it's good enough. Oh, it's fixed forever. Look how fixed this thing is. And it only took all day. And now for celebratory burnouts, obviously. All right, fine, redo. It might be somewhat horsepower deficient. You know what? Everything about this seems right. Cop car stuff. So many darts, so little time. Good things come in twos. Did you know the 73 Dart Custom is actually a rally machine?
Oh yeah, no problem.